In the small town of Ravenwood, there stood an old and imposing school building, Oak Ridge Academy, rumored to have a dark history. It was said that decades ago, a malevolent headmistress named Agatha Blackwell ran the school with an iron fist. Legend had it that she had a particular fondness for a twisted form of discipline. One stormy night, a group of mischievous students decided to explore the abandoned wing of Oak Ridge Academy, where Agatha Blackwell's office was rumored to be. The air was thick with tension as they cautiously made their way through the dimly lit hallways. As they entered the dusty and neglected office, a chill ran down their spines. A flickering candle on the desk cast eerie shadows on the peeling wallpaper. Among the dusty books and old photographs, they discovered a hidden compartment in the floor. With a creaking sound, they pried it open, revealing a secret staircase leading down into darkness. Against their better judgment, the group descended into the bowels of the school. The air grew colder, and the only sound was the echoing of their footsteps. Suddenly, they stumbled upon a series of narrow tunnels adorned with strange symbols and flickering candles. The oppressive atmosphere weighed heavily on them. As they delved deeper, whispers seemed to surround them, and ghostly apparitions appeared and disappeared in the corners of their vision. Panic set in as they realized they were not alone. The air became suffocating, and a distant, haunting melody echoed through the tunnels, sending shivers down their spines. In a chamber at the heart of the labyrinth, they found an old, decrepit chair with worn leather straps. The remnants of Agatha Blackwell's disciplinary methods were laid bare before them. Suddenly, the temperature dropped to an unbearable degree, and the shadows in the room seemed to come to life. A chilling voice echoed through the chamber, you dare disturb the sanctity of Oak Ridge Academy. Now, you shall face the consequences. The students frantically tried to escape, but the tunnels shifted, disorienting them. Panic consumed them as they realized they were trapped in the dark, twisted history of the school. Legend has it that on stormy nights, the echoes of their terrified screams can still be heard within the haunted halls of Oak Ridge Academy, a warning to those who dare to trespass where darkness resides. Years passed, and the story of the ill-fated students became a cautionary tale in Ravenwood. The once thriving town had fallen into a state of decay, with Oak Ridge Academy standing as a silent, brooding sentinel over its haunted past. Curiosity, however, has a way of drawing people in. A new group of intrepid students, unaware of the eerie history, decided to explore the abandoned Oak Ridge Academy. Drawn by the allure of mystery, they ventured into the decaying hallways and neglected classrooms. As they reached the entrance of the Forbidden Wing, a sudden chill filled the air. Unperturbed, they pressed on, guided by the stories whispered among the townsfolk. The remnants of the stormy night that sealed the fate of their predecessors seemed to linger in the atmosphere. The group stumbled upon the concealed entrance to the secret tunnels, just as the previous explorers had. As they descended into the darkness, the oppressive aura of the hidden passages enveloped them. The air grew thick with a sense of foreboding, and shadows danced on the walls as if possessed by some unseen force. The students discovered the ominous chamber with the worn leather straps and the echoes of Agatha Blackwell's twisted methods. Fear gnawed at them, but their curiosity pushed them further into the heart of the haunted labyrinth. Suddenly, the temperature plummeted, and the ghostly voice echoed once more, intruders in the sanctum of Oak Ridge Academy. You shall face the consequences, just as those before you. The very fabric of reality seemed to warp around them as the ghostly apparitions from the past manifested. The students, now trapped in the dark history of the school, desperately sought an escape. The tunnels twisted and turned, disorienting them at every attempt to flee. Whispers of regret and terror filled the air, blending with the haunting melody that resonated through the haunted halls. The legend continued to grow, adding another chapter to the grim history of Oak Ridge Academy. The screams of the new intruders joined the spectral chorus, a perpetual reminder to those who dared to disturb the tormented spirits that lingered within the forsaken school. The once sleepy town of Ravenwood retained its haunted secret, and the ominous silhouette of Oak Ridge Academy remained a stark warning to all who contemplated unraveling the mysteries of its dark past. As the echoes of the students' terrified screams faded away, 
a heavy silence settled over Oak Ridge Academy. The spectral entities returned to the shadows, and the labyrinth and tunnel seemed to absorb the residual fear that permeated the air. The legend of the cursed school persisted, passed down through generations. Despite the ominous tales, there were always those who sought to uncover the truth, driven by an insatiable curiosity or a misguided belief that the supernatural could be conquered. In the years that followed, the town of Ravenwood faced economic decline and isolation, partly due to the unsettling reputation of Oak Ridge Academy. The once bustling community became a ghost town, with only the bravest souls venturing near the decaying institution. A new chapter in the dark history of the school began when a skeptical paranormal investigator named Evelyn Harper arrived in Ravenwood. Dismissing the local legends as mere superstitions, she was determined to expose the truth behind Oak Ridge Academy's haunting reputation. Evelyn delved into the historical archives, uncovering forgotten documents and testimonies. The more she learned, the more convinced she became that there was a rational explanation for the eerie occurrences. Armed with cameras, audio recorders, and a team of skeptical investigators, she entered the abandoned halls of Oak Ridge Academy, ready to debunk the supernatural claims. As they explored the desolate corridors, the team encountered inexplicable phenomena flickering lights, mysterious whispers, and sudden drops in temperature. Unfazed, Evelyn attributed these occurrences to drafts and faulty wiring. However, as they reached the forbidden wing, the atmosphere became suffocating, and the air seemed to pulse with a malevolent energy. In the heart of the labyrinth, they stumbled upon the chamber with the worn leather straps. Determined to demystify the haunting, Evelyn decided to conduct ASNs, challenging any lingering spirits to make their presence known. As the essence commenced, the temperature plummeted, and a ghastly voice echoed through the chamber, you dare disturb the sanctity of Oak Ridge Academy. Prepare to face the consequences. The investigators, once skeptical, felt an otherworldly force around them, pushing the boundaries of their disbelief. The room came alive with ethereal apparitions, and the very walls seemed to whisper the tormented tales of the past. Evelyn's confidence waned as the spectral entities manifested before her eyes. The investigators, now facing the true depth of the supernatural, scrambled to escape the clutches of Oak Ridge Academy. The once skeptical paranormal investigator left Ravenwood forever changed, haunted by the chilling reality she had witnessed. The town, now devoid of any inhabitants, stood as a testament to the curse that clung to Oak Ridge Academy. The legend endured, and the abandoned school remained a silent guardian of its own dark secrets, awaiting the next curious soul who dared to challenge the boundaries between the living and the dead. In the years that followed Dr. Turner's expedition, Hollowbrook Academy became a focal point for paranormal research and a symbol of coexistence between the living and the spectral. Scholars, historians, and curious individuals from around the world flocked to the town, eager to experience the unique blend of history and the supernatural that characterized Hollowbrook. The once quiet town transformed into a bustling hub of activity, with guided tours taking visitors through the echoing halls of Hollowbrook Academy. Local businesses thrived as they catered to the growing influx of enthusiasts and seekers of the supernatural. The townspeople, proud of their heritage, shared the tales of Eliza Hawthorne and the spectral forces that had shaped their community. Amidst this resurgence, a young paranormal researcher named Emily Bennett arrived in Hollowbrook. Fascinated by the stories she had heard from her colleagues, Emily sought to conduct a comprehensive study on the town's unique history. Armed with state-of-the-art equipment and an open mind, she delved into the mysteries that surrounded Hollowbrook Academy. As Emily and her team explored the academy, they were met with a renewed sense of energy. The town seemed to embrace their presence, as if inviting them to uncover the layers of history that lingered within its walls. The moonlit courtyard, once a source of trepidation, now radiated a welcoming aura as they ventured into the grand entrance. In the hidden wing, Emily's team discovered artifacts that shed light on Eliza Hawthorne's enigmatic past. The secret staircase led them through the subterranean labyrinth, where symbols and remnants of rituals told stories of sorrow and redemption. The rusted iron chair, now a symbol of acknowledgement, stood in a chamber that seemed to pulse with a subtle, comforting energy. 
Inspired by the town's acceptance of its supernatural identity, Emily decided to conduct a groundbreaking experiment. Utilizing advanced technology and ancient spiritual practices, she sought to create a bridge between the living and the spectral, fostering communication in a way that had never been attempted before. In the heart of Hollowbrook Academy, Emily's team gathered in a chamber adorned with symbols from the town's haunted history. As they initiated the experiment, the air vibrated with a mysterious energy. Whispers echoed through the chamber, and the temperature fluctuated as the realms of the living and the dead momentarily converged. To their amazement, spectral figures materialized before the ethereal apparitions of Eliza Hawthorne and the tormented souls from the Academy's past. The town's history unfolded like a living tapestry, and the spirits, once trapped in the echoes of their stories, seemed to find solace in the acknowledgement of their existence. As the experiment concluded, the spirits dissipated, leaving behind a sense of tranquility. The grand entrance stood open, welcoming Emily's team as they emerged into the moonlit courtyard. The townspeople, witnessing the extraordinary events, felt a renewed sense of connection to the spectral forces that had shaped their identity. Hollowbrook, now celebrated for its unique blend of history and the supernatural, continued to thrive. Emily Bennett, forever touched by the experience, left the town with a profound understanding of the delicate balance between the corporeal and the ethereal. And so, Hollowbrook Academy stood as a living testament to the town's haunted past, its halls echoing with the stories of those who had ventured into its depths. The legend evolved into a narrative of acceptance, coexistence, and the enduring power of acknowledging the mysteries that lingered within the shadows. In the small, picturesque town of Eldridge, nestled between mist-covered hills and ancient forests, there stood an imposing structure known as Eldridge Manor an old mansion with a history shrouded in mystery. The manor had served various purposes over the centuries, from a noble residence to a boarding school, but it was during the 19th century that its darkest chapter unfolded. The town's children would whisper tales of a sinister headmistress named Madeline Blackwood, who ruled Eldridge Manor with an iron fist. Legend had it that Madeline was obsessed with maintaining order and discipline, resorting to cruel and unusual punishments for any perceived transgressions. One fateful night, a group of daring students from Eldridge High School decided to explore the long-abandoned Eldridge Manor. The mansion, long rumored to be haunted, cast a foreboding shadow over the town. Ignoring the warnings of the townsfolk, the group ventured into the decaying corridors, guided only by the glow of their flashlights. The atmosphere inside the manor was oppressive, as if the very walls held the weight of the secrets they harbored. The students explored room after room, each one more decrepit than the last. Tattered curtains swayed in the draft, and the floor creaked under the weight of their footsteps. As they reached the grand staircase, a chilling breeze swept through the halls, extinguishing their flashlights. Panic set in, but the group pressed on, guided by the dim moonlight filtering through the dusty windows. They soon found themselves in a forgotten wing of the manor, where Madeline Blackwood's quarters were rumored to be. The door to Madeline's quarters creaked open as if inviting them inside. The room was adorned with faded tapestries, antique furniture, and a long-forgotten portrait of Madeline herself, her eyes seemingly following their every move. A sense of unease settled over the group as they discovered a hidden trapdoor beneath a worn-out rug. Unable to resist the allure of the unknown, the students opened the trapdoor and descended into a labyrinthine network of tunnels beneath Eldridge Manor. The air became thick with an unnatural chill as they navigated the winding passages, discovering forgotten rooms filled with dusty books, antique artifacts, and eerie symbols etched into the walls. In a hidden chamber, they uncovered a chilling sight a room with a rusted iron chair, leather straps, and arcane symbols scrawled across the floor. It was a macabre reminder of Madeline Blackwood's twisted sense of discipline. As the group recoiled in horror, a low, haunting melody echoed through the tunnels, freezing them in their tracks. Suddenly, the temperature plummeted, and the very walls seemed to pulse with malevolent energy. A spectral figure materialized before them Madeline Blackwood herself, her eyes cold and piercing. You dare intrude upon my domain, she hissed, her voice echoing through the tunnels. 
Now, you shall face the consequences. The group, now trapped in the haunting grip of Eldridge Manor, desperately sought an escape. The tunnels shifted and rearranged themselves, disorienting the students at every turn. Ghostly apparitions flickered in and out of existence, and the oppressive air seemed to absorb their fear. As the students ventured deeper into the labyrinth, they discovered more about Madeline Blackwood's dark past a tale of betrayal, revenge, and an insatiable thirst for power. The very fabric of reality seemed to warp around them, and the boundaries between the living and the dead blurred into a nightmarish tableau. The once sleepy town of Eldridge, now burdened by the curse of Eldridge Manor, bore witness to the screams of the trapped students echoing through the night. The legend grew, becoming a cautionary tale for generations to come. Eldridge Manor stood as a silent sentinel, its haunted halls awaiting the next unsuspecting souls who dared to unearth the secrets that lingered within its ancient walls. Years passed, and the ominous reputation of Eldridge Manor cast a long shadow over the town. Despite the warnings and the tales of the trapped students, there were always those drawn to the allure of the supernatural. Eldridge became a town with few inhabitants, as families moved away to escape the haunting whispers that seemed to echo through the narrow streets. One day, a historian named Dr. Amelia Thornton arrived in Eldridge. Fascinated by the town's history and the legends surrounding Eldridge Manor, she decided to investigate the mysteries that enshrouded the old mansion. Armed with her knowledge of folklore and a determination to unravel the truth, Dr. Thornton delved into the town archives and pieced together the dark history of Madeline Blackwood and the cursed Eldridge Manor. Undeterred by the warnings of locals, Dr. Thornton assembled a team of researchers and paranormal investigators. They entered Eldridge Manor with a mix of skepticism and excitement, eager to uncover the secrets hidden within its walls. As they explored the decaying mansion, the air grew heavy with an otherworldly presence. Whispers seemed to follow them, and the temperature fluctuated unpredictably. Dr. Thornton remained focused on her mission, determined to document any evidence that would shed light on the supernatural phenomena. The team eventually discovered the hidden entrance to the underground tunnels, just as the ill-fated students had done years ago. Driven by the need to understand the mysteries that had plagued Eldridge, they descended into the darkness below. The tunnels proved to be an intricate maze, and the group soon found themselves disoriented and separated. Strange symbols on the walls seemed to glow faintly, and ghostly apparitions flickered in the corners of their vision. Dr. Thornton, undeterred by the escalating paranormal activity, pressed on with a growing sense of unease. In a chamber adorned with arcane symbols, the team stumbled upon the rusted iron chair and leather straps. Dr. Thornton, determined to communicate with whatever lingering spirits remained, initiated A.S. Ants. As the group gathered around, a cold wind swept through the chamber, and the haunting melody that had plagued Eldridge Manor for centuries echoed through the tunnels. The temperature plummeted, and the atmosphere thickened with an ancient presence. The ghostly figure of Madeline Blackwood materialized once again, her eyes piercing through the veil of time. You seek answers, but you are not prepared for the truth, she intoned, her voice a chilling whisper. The walls of the chamber seemed to close in, and the group felt an invisible force pushing against them. The apparitions of the trapped students joined the spectral assembly, their faces etched with fear and desperation. Dr. Thornton, faced with the undeniable reality of the supernatural, struggled to maintain composure. Madeline Blackwood, revealing the tragic tale of her life and the injustices she had suffered, warned the investigators of the consequences of meddling with forces beyond their understanding. The ghostly figures faded away, leaving the team shaken and uncertain of their fate. As the investigators hastily retraced their steps through the tunnels, they encountered manifestations of the town's dark history. Visions of betrayal, revenge, and lingering sorrow played out before them. The once confident Dr. Thornton found herself questioning the boundaries of the known world. The team, battered by the supernatural forces, emerged from Eldridge Manor with a newfound respect for the mysteries that lurked in the shadows. The town, now devoid of any remaining residents, stood as a testament to the curse that bound Eldridge Manor to the spectral realm. Dr. Thornton, forever changed by the encounter, 
left Eldridge with a weighty secret one that would be passed down through her family for generations. The legend of Eldridge Manor continued to grow, whispered in hushed tones by those who dared to acknowledge the haunted history of the town. And so, Eldridge Manor remained a silent witness, its secrets guarded by the spirits that lingered within, waiting for the next curious soul to cross its threshold. Generations passed, and the tale of Eldridge Manor became a cautionary legend, ingrained in the fabric of the town's history. The once thriving community, now left to the echoes of the past, became a place of eerie quietude, with Eldridge Manor standing as a looming monument to its own haunted mysteries. The Thornton family, descendants of Dr. Amelia Thornton, carried the weight of the secret within their lineage. The story was passed down from one generation to the next, each member warned not to disturb the slumbering spirits that dwelled in the old mansion. Despite the warnings, the lure of the unknown persisted, and there were always those inquisitive enough to seek out the truth. In the 21 ST century, Emma Thornton, a determined and curious young woman, discovered the hidden journals of her ancestor. Intrigued by the cryptic writings and sketches detailing the supernatural encounters, Emma felt compelled to unravel the mysteries that had plagued her family for so long. Driven by an insatiable curiosity, Emma gathered a team of fellow researchers and paranormal enthusiasts. Armed with modern technology, they ventured into the silent town of Eldridge, now overgrown with nature and shrouded in an almost perpetual mist. Eldridge Manor, weathered by time, stood as a silent sentinel, seemingly awaiting the next chapter in its dark history. The team explored the dilapidated halls of the mansion, their footsteps echoing through the empty chambers. As they descended into the hidden tunnels below, the air thickened with an ancient energy. Strange occurrences became more frequent disembodied whispers, flickering lights, and the sensation of unseen eyes watching their every move. In the underground chambers, Emma's team discovered remnants of Madeline Blackwood's tortured history forgotten relics and faded letters that hinted at a tragic past. Undeterred by the ominous atmosphere, Emma pressed on, determined to communicate with the spirits that lingered in the shadows. In the very chamber where her ancestor had conducted the essence decades ago, Emma initiated a similar ritual. As the group held hands, the temperature dropped, and the haunting melody resonated through the tunnels. The ethereal figure of Madeline Blackwood materialized, her eyes bearing the weight of centuries. You tread upon a path paved with the pain of the past, Madeline intoned, her voice a spectral echo. The secrets buried within these walls cannot be easily unearthed. The chamber seemed to vibrate with an otherworldly energy as the spirits of Eldridge manifested around them. In a moment of revelation, Madeline showed Emma glimpses of her own family's history her ancestors struggled to understand the supernatural forces that bound Eldridge Manor. The walls of time blurred, revealing moments of fear, regret, and a desperate attempt to keep the curse contained. Emma, now aware of the delicate balance between the living and the dead, felt a responsibility to honor her family's legacy. The spirits, their tales told, slowly dissipated, leaving the chamber in an eerie stillness. As Emma's team retraced their steps through the tunnels, the oppressive atmosphere lifted. The paranormal occurrences ceased, and Eldridge Manor stood silent once more. Emma, carrying the weight of the knowledge she had gained, emerged from the underground labyrinth with a newfound respect for the supernatural. The town of Eldridge, no longer shrouded in fear, began to reclaim a sense of normalcy. The tale of Emma Thornton's encounter with the spirits became a new chapter in Eldridge's history, a testament to the delicate balance between the living and the spectral. Eldridge Manor, though still bearing the scars of its haunted past, now stood as a place of reflection rather than dread. The Thornton family, having come full circle, continued to pass down the story acknowledging the existence of the supernatural while respecting the spirits that lingered within the ancient halls. And so, Eldridge remained a town with a history intertwined with the spectral, a place where the living and the dead coexisted in a delicate dance between reality and the ethereal. The legend endured, a reminder that some mysteries are best left undisturbed, lest the past awaken to reclaim its secrets. In the wake of Emily Bennett's groundbreaking experiment, the reputation of Hollowbrook Academy and the town itself reached new heights. News of the successful communication with the spectral realm spread far and wide, 
drawing even more visitors and researchers eager to witness the harmonious coexistence between the living and the dead. As the town flourished, a sense of unity permeated the community. Locals and visitors alike participated in festivals that celebrated the rich tapestry of Hollowbrook's supernatural history. Businesses thrived, and the once quiet town square became a lively center of activity, with shops selling artifacts, books, and trinkets inspired by the spectral legacy. With the influx of researchers and enthusiasts, a new academic institution dedicated to the study of the supernatural was established in Hollowbrook. The Hollowbrook Institute for Paranormal Research became a hub for scholars from various disciplines, fostering collaboration between historians, scientists, and spiritual experts. The institute aimed to unravel the mysteries that still clung to the town, using a combination of modern research methods and ancient wisdom. At the helm of this institute was Professor Emily Bennett, now a respected authority in the field of paranormal research. Her dedication to understanding the supernatural had transformed Hollowbrook into a beacon of knowledge and acceptance. Under her leadership, the Institute embarked on ambitious projects to explore the boundaries between the living and the spectral, pushing the limits of what was known about the supernatural. One such project involved creating a living archive of virtual space where the stories, memories, and experiences of both the living and the dead could be preserved for future generations. It would serve as a testament to the delicate balance achieved in Hollowbrook, showcasing the town's journey from a place of fear to one of harmony. As the years passed, the virtual archive became a repository of narratives, images, and recordings each a fragment of the town's spectral history. People from around the world could explore the archive, gaining insight into the unique coexistence that defined Hollowbrook. The town, once haunted by its past, had become a source of inspiration for those seeking to understand the mysteries that lay beyond the veil. In the year 2150, a global symposium on the supernatural was hosted in Hollowbrook. Scholars, researchers, and spiritual leaders gathered to share their knowledge and experiences. The town square, once a quiet space, buzzed with excitement as people from different cultures exchanged ideas about the paranormal. As the symposium reached its peak, a collective ritual was performed in the moonlit courtyard of Hollowbrook Academy. Representatives from the living and the spectral realms came together, acknowledging the intricate web that connected them. The air vibrated with energy, and the town seemed to pulse with a harmonious frequency. In a moment of unity, the spectral figures of Eliza Hawthorne and other tormented souls materialized alongside the living. The grand entrance stood open, symbolizing the permeable boundary between the corporeal and the ethereal. The townspeople and visitors alike witnessed the convergence of worlds, a culmination of Hollowbrook's journey from a town shrouded in fear to one embraced by the supernatural. As the symposium concluded, the town of Hollowbrook continued to thrive as a living example of coexistence. The legend of Hollowbrook Academy evolved into a global story of unity, a beacon of hope for those who believed in the potential harmony between the realms of the living and the dead. And so, Hollowbrook Academy stood as a testament to the town's enduring spirit, its halls echoing with the laughter of the living and the whispers of the spectral. The town square, once a quiet gathering place, now hosted celebrations that transcended the boundaries of time and existence a reminder that, in Hollowbrook, the supernatural had become an integral part of the town's vibrant identity. In the quiet town of Hollowbrook, nestled between rolling hills and dense forests, stood an imposing structure known as Hollowbrook Academy. This aging institution had weathered the passage of time, its grand facade hiding the echoes of a dark history. Locals spoke in hushed tones of a headmistress named Eliza Hawthorne, whose tenure at the academy was marked by an obsession with discipline and a penchant for enigmatic punishments. A group of adventurous students from Hollowbrook High School, fueled by the allure of the academy's mysterious past, decided to unravel its secrets. Late one moonlit night, they gathered at the rusting gates of Hollowbrook Academy, shivering in anticipation as they peered through the wrought iron bars into the overgrown courtyard. The grand entrance creaked open eerily as they stepped into the hallowed halls. Moonlight filtered through dusty windows, casting a ghostly glow on the faded portraits of long-dead headmasters and mistresses. 
Ignoring the foreboding atmosphere, the group pressed on, their footsteps echoing through the vast, echoing corridors. As they explored, they stumbled upon a forgotten wing rumored to be Eliza Hawthorne's domain. The air grew thick with tension as they entered her dusty office, where a century-old portrait of the stern headmistress stared down at them with piercing eyes. The students discovered a hidden compartment beneath her imposing desk, revealing a secret staircase that led into the depths of the academy. With trepidation, they descended into a labyrinthine network of tunnels beneath Hollowbrook Academy. The subterranean world seemed frozen in time, with ancient books and forgotten artifacts lining the shelves of hidden chambers. The air became suffused with an otherworldly chill as they ventured deeper, uncovering the remnants of Eliza Hawthorne's disciplinary methods a chilling array of leather straps, iron shackles, and archaic symbols etched into the walls. Suddenly, the temperature dropped, and the tunnels echoed with a haunting melody that seemed to emanate from the very stones. Shadows danced on the walls as a spectral figure materialized before them Eliza Hawthorne herself, a stern visage with eyes that bore into their very souls. You dare to trespass in my domain, she intoned, her voice echoing through the subterranean passages. Now, you shall face the consequences. Panic set in as the tunnels rearranged themselves, disorienting the students. Ghostly apparitions flickered in and out of existence, and the oppressive air seemed to absorb their fear. Eliza Hawthorne's spectral presence guided them through a nightmarish journey, revealing glimpses of the Academy's dark past tales of betrayal, forbidden rituals, and the tragic fate of those who defied her authority. In a dimly lit chamber, they found a rusted iron chair surrounded by flickering candles. As they recoiled in horror, Eliza Hawthorne's voice echoed through the chamber, recounting the tales of the Academy's tormented history. The students, now trapped in the twisted narrative of Hollowbrook Academy, desperately sought an escape. The spectral presence of Eliza Hawthorne led them to a hidden exit, her voice fading as they emerged into the cold night air. The grand entrance of the Academy loomed before them, the gates now closed with an ominous finality. The once adventurous group of students, forever changed by their ordeal, left Hollowbrook Academy with a chilling awareness of the supernatural forces that lingered within its walls. News of their harrowing experience spread through Hollowbrook, adding another layer to the town's enigmatic reputation. The Academy, now standing as a silent witness to its own haunted past, cast a long shadow over the town. The legend endured, a tale of restless spirits and the consequences of delving too deep into the mysteries that lay hidden beneath the surface. And so, the town of Hollowbrook remained a place where the living tread lightly, aware that some secrets are best left undisturbed in the cold embrace of the night. Years passed, and the legend of Hollowbrook Academy became ingrained in the fabric of the town's folklore. The once vibrant community now lived under the shadow of the imposing institution, its dark secrets whispered through generations. Hollowbrook, though small, harbored a collective understanding that certain places were better left untouched. One day, a new resident named Dr. Jonathan Carter arrived in Hollowbrook. A historian with a fascination for the supernatural, he had heard the tales surrounding the academy and couldn't resist the lure of the unknown. Armed with his expertise and a thirst for uncovering forgotten histories, Dr. Carter decided to delve into the mysteries that enveloped Hollowbrook Academy. His arrival stirred unease among the locals, who had long learned to coexist with the silent specter of the academy. Dr. Carter, undeterred by the warnings, immersed himself in the town's archives, studying old documents, journals, and accounts of the eerie occurrences that plagued the academy over the years. Driven by his relentless pursuit of the truth, Dr. Carter soon assembled a team of researchers and paranormal investigators. Equipped with the latest technology, they set out to explore Hollowbrook Academy, hoping to unravel the enigmatic story that had haunted the town for so long. As they entered the aged halls of the academy, the air became charged with an otherworldly energy. Dr. Carter and his team pressed on, guided by a combination of historical records and whispers of the supernatural. The moonlit courtyard, overgrown with ivy, greeted them as they approached the grand entrance. The team discovered the hidden wing rumored to be Eliza Hawthorne's domain, and they cautiously entered her long-forgotten office. 
Dust-covered books and faded portraits surrounded them as they uncovered the hidden compartment beneath her desk. The secret staircase beckoned, leading them once again into the depths of the academy. The subterranean tunnels, untouched by time, revealed the same chilling relics the students had encountered years ago. Dr. Carter, determined to understand the academy's dark past, studied the symbols etched into the walls and the remnants of arcane rituals that had taken place in the hidden chambers. As they ventured deeper, the temperature dropped, and the haunting melody resonated through the tunnels. The oppressive air seemed to close in on them, and the team found themselves ensnared in the supernatural forces that had long held sway over Hollowbrook Academy. In a chamber bathed in flickering candlelight, they stumbled upon the rusted iron chair surrounded by arcane symbols. The air thickened with an unseen presence as Eliza Hawthorne's voice echoed through the chamber, recounting the tales of betrayal and tragedy that had unfolded within the Academy's walls. The team, now trapped in the spectral narrative, witnessed ghostly apparitions that replayed the Academy's haunted history. Dr. Carter, confronted by the chilling reality of the supernatural, grappled with the consequences of his relentless pursuit of knowledge. With a surge of paranormal energy, the team found themselves back in the moonlit courtyard. The grand entrance loomed before them, the gates now sealed as a testament to the town's enduring secrets. Dr. Carter, forever changed by the supernatural encounter, emerged from the academy with a somber understanding of the delicate balance between the living and the dead. Hollowbrook, though still haunted by the specter of its dark history, found a semblance of peace as the years passed. Dr. Carter, burdened by the weight of the academy's secrets, left the town with a newfound respect for the supernatural and a realization that some mysteries were never meant to be fully unraveled. And so, Hollowbrook Academy stood as a silent witness to its own haunted past, the legend persisting through time as a cautionary tale. The town, now reconciled with its spectral history, carried on under the watchful gaze of the aged institution, a place where the living tread lightly, knowing that the echoes of the past lingered just beneath the surface. Decades passed, and Hollowbrook Academy stood as a silent sentinel, its ominous presence casting a perpetual shadow over the town. The legend of Eliza Hawthorne and the spectral mysteries that permeated its halls continued to be shared in hushed tones, a tale of caution whispered from one generation to the next. In the year 2050, a renowned paranormal investigator named Professor Eleanor Harlow arrived in Hollowbrook. Drawn by the enduring mystery of Hollowbrook Academy, she had spent her career researching and documenting supernatural phenomena. Professor Harlow had heard whispers of the town's haunted history and felt an irresistible pull to unravel the lingering secrets. Armed with state-of-the-art equipment and a team of seasoned researchers, Professor Harlow delved into the historical archives, poring over the accounts of previous encounters with the spectral forces that called Hollowbrook Academy home. The town, now accustomed to the presence of its spectral guardian, watched with a wary eye as the investigator prepared to uncover the long-buried truths. The team's arrival at Hollowbrook Academy stirred a subtle unease in the town's folk. Professor Harlow, undeterred by the town's wary glances, entered the grand entrance of the academy with a sense of purpose. The moonlit courtyard seemed to hold its breath as the investigator and her team navigated the echoing halls. In the forgotten wing where Eliza Hawthorne's presence still lingered, Professor Harlow's team discovered the hidden compartment beneath the imposing desk. The secret staircase beckoned once more, leading them into the subterranean labyrinth below. The tunnels, as timeless as the legends they housed, whispered tales of betrayal and lingering sorrow. As the team ventured deeper, the temperature dropped, and the tunnels resonated with the haunting melody that had become synonymous with Hollowbrook Academy's supernatural history. The air became charged with an otherworldly energy, and the team found themselves ensnared in the spectral narrative that unfolded within the subterranean passages. In a chamber adorned with faded symbols and remnants of arcane rituals, they uncovered the rusted iron chair, a chilling relic from the Academy's tormented past. Professor Harlow, recognizing the delicate balance between the living and the dead, initiated ASNs to communicate with the lingering spirits. As the essence unfolded, the temperature plummeted, and the room pulsed with a spectral energy. The ethereal figure of Eliza Hawthorne materialized, her eyes holding the weight of centuries. You seek the truth, 
but some secrets are better left undisturbed, she intoned, her voice a haunting whisper. The chamber filled with apparitions, each one recounting a fragment of the Academy's spectral history. Professor Harlow, now faced with the undeniable reality of the supernatural, sought to understand the delicate interplay between the living and the dead. With a surge of paranormal energy, the team found themselves back in the moonlit courtyard. The grand entrance stood before them, the gates now open as a testament to the town's acknowledgement of its haunted history. Professor Harlow, forever changed by the encounter, left Hollowbrook with a newfound respect for the mysteries that bound the town and the spectral forces that guarded its secrets. Hollowbrook, reconciled with its spectral guardian, began to embrace its unique history. The legend of Hollowbrook Academy persisted, but the town now viewed it not as a malevolent force but as a reminder of the delicate balance between the living and the dead. And so, Hollowbrook Academy continued to stand, a silent witness to its own haunted past, its halls echoing with the tales of those who had dared to uncover the secrets within. The town, now at peace with its spectral guardian, thrived under the watchful gaze of the aged institution, a place where the living and the dead coexisted in a delicate dance between reality and the ethereal. Years turned into decades, and the legend of Hollowbrook Academy continued to weave itself into the fabric of the town. The townspeople, now embracing the spectral history that defined their home, incorporated the tales into local lore, turning it into a source of pride and reverence rather than fear. In 2075, a young historian named Olivia Reynolds arrived in Hollowbrook, drawn by the enduring mystique of the academy. The stories she had heard from her grandmother, who grew up in the town, fueled Olivia's fascination with the paranormal. Armed with modern research techniques and a passion for uncovering hidden histories, she set out to delve deeper into the mysteries that enveloped Hollowbrook Academy. Olivia quickly became enamored with the rich tapestry of the town's supernatural past. Conversations with the elderly residents and hours spent in the local archives provided her with a wealth of knowledge. The accounts she uncovered spoke of the delicate equilibrium that had been established between the living and the spectral forces that resided within the academy. Determined to document the town's unique history, Olivia assembled a team of researchers and set about exploring the academy once again. The townspeople, now accustomed to the occasional presence of investigators, watched with a mix of curiosity and nostalgia as the young historian and her team entered the grand entrance of Hollowbrook Academy. In the moonlit courtyard, Olivia's team navigated the echoing halls and descended into the subterranean tunnels beneath the academy. The air, though charged with a subtle otherworldly energy, no longer held the same foreboding presence as it once did. The academy seemed to welcome the researchers, as if inviting them to understand the delicate balance that had been struck between the living and the dead. As they ventured deeper into the tunnels, Olivia's team discovered hidden chambers adorned with symbols that told the tales of betrayal and redemption. The rusted iron chair, now a symbol of the town's unique history, stood in a room bathed in a soft, ethereal glow. Olivia, guided by the lessons of the past, recognized the importance of acknowledging and respecting the spectral forces that lingered within. In a moment of quiet revelation, Olivia initiated a symbolic ceremony, acknowledging the spirits that resided within Hollowbrook Academy. The atmosphere shifted, and a subtle calm settled over the tunnels. The spectral figures, once tormented, seemed to find solace in the acknowledgement of their existence. As Olivia's team emerged into the moonlit courtyard, the grand entrance stood before them, the gates open in silent acknowledgement. The town, now at peace with its supernatural history, welcomed Olivia as a guardian of its stories. The academy, once a source of fear, had transformed into a bridge between the realms of the living and the dead. Olivia, forever changed by her encounter with Hollowbrook Academy, left the town with a newfound appreciation for the mystical forces that shaped its identity. The legend persisted, not as a haunting tale of terror, but as a testament to the resilience of a community that had learned to coexist with the supernatural. And so, Hollowbrook Academy continued to stand as a silent witness to its own haunted past, its halls echoing with the tales of those who had ventured into its depths. The town, now thriving with a newfound sense of unity, embraced its spectral guardian, 
understanding that the delicate dance between the living and the dead was a defining aspect of its unique history. As the years unfolded, Hollowbrook Academy remained a beacon of the town's unique history, a living testament to the delicate dance between the living and the spectral forces that resided within its walls. The legend of Hollowbrook became a draw for historians, paranormal enthusiasts, and curious souls alike, each seeking to experience the town's mystical embrace. In the year 2000, a group of researchers led by the esteemed Dr. Marcus Turner arrived in Hollowbrook. Driven by a fascination with the supernatural and a desire to understand the town's spectral history, they brought with them cutting-edge technology and a fresh perspective on the mysteries that enshrouded Hollowbrook Academy. The townspeople, now accustomed to occasional visits from those seeking to explore the academy, welcomed Dr. Turner and his team with open arms. The grand entrance of Hollowbrook Academy, bathed in the glow of the moonlight, seemed to beckon them into its storied halls. As Dr. Turner's team ventured into the echoing corridors, they marveled at the grandeur of the academy, appreciating the architectural beauty that had withstood the test of time. Their exploration took them through the familiar hidden wing, down the secret staircase, and into the subterranean labyrinth where the echoes of the past awaited. The tunnels, now infused with an energy that seemed to resonate with the town's acceptance of its spectral history, guided Dr. Turner's team through chambers adorned with symbols and artifacts. The rusted iron chair, once a chilling relic, stood as a reminder of the transformative power of acknowledgement and respect. In the moonlit courtyard, Dr. Turner initiated a unique experiment, utilizing advanced technology to communicate with the lingering spirits. The air, tinged with an otherworldly presence, responded to their efforts. Ethereal whispers seemed to intertwine with the gentle rustling of leaves, creating a harmonious symphony that bridged the realms of the living and the dead. As Dr. Turner's team emerged from the academy, the grand entrance stood before them, the gates open in a symbolic gesture of acceptance. The town, now a harmonious blend of the supernatural and the mundane, welcomed the researchers as temporary stewards of its mystical legacy. Dr. Turner, forever changed by the profound encounter, left Hollowbrook with a wealth of knowledge and a deep appreciation for the town's unique balance. The legend of Hollowbrook Academy continued to evolve, becoming not just a tale of haunted history, but a narrative of resilience, acceptance, and coexistence. And so, Hollowbrook Academy stood as a living paradox a place where the past and the present intertwined, where the spectral and the corporeal found a delicate equilibrium. The town, thriving in the embrace of its supernatural identity, became a beacon for those who sought to understand the profound mysteries that shaped Hollowbrook's enduring legacy.